The Department of Parasitology, Faculty of Medicine, University of Malaya is a very active department managed by 30 staff members, including 15 academic lecturers, probably one of the largest staffed parasitology department in the world, has three main core functions and they are teaching, research and diagnostic services. The main responsibility is teaching medical parasitology to the second year pre-clinical MBBS students. Other main courses include the Diploma in Nursing and Medical Laboratory Technology, Bachelors of Biomedical Science, Bachelors in Pharmacy, Masters in Pathology and Masters in Public Health. The department attracts local and international postgraduate students and to date have helped graduate hundreds of master and PhD students. Active research on parasitic diseases and emerging parasites is another core activity. The department has acquired many grants and translated its activities in the form of publications and presentations at national and international conferences. One of the major strengths of our department is the research focus on neglected tropical diseases, primarily among marginalized populations. Example, the orang asli communities, migrant workers, using tools such as geographic information systems and next generation sequencing to map and understand these diseases among the populations. Our researchers have began exploring the molecular mechanisms that underpin the interactions between parasitic infections, in particular gut worm infections, nutritional status, gut microbiota and the inflammatory responses. Another strength is our efforts in both the pursuit and discovery of potential vaccine candidates to combat malaria as well as enhancing the diagnostic methods for malaria. Loop mediated isothermal amplification combined with nucleic acid lateral flow strip is indeed a good innovation produced by our research team. This innovative technique enables fast diagnosis with simple facility which is potentially useful for remote areas. Besides, the search for alternatives in malaria diagnosis have led to studies involving novel antigens of malaria parasites which carry potential candidates for malaria diagnosis as well as vaccination. Another laboratory specially dedicated to the understanding of both vertebrate and invertebrate developmental neurobiology is a special feature of the department. Apart from identification of difficult arthropod specimens using both molecular and taxonomical tools, we are capable of imaging micro specimens including invertebrate and vertebrate embryos. Amongst our achievements are the construction of the world's first model of spina bifida or culta arising from failure of primary neurulation. Our state-of-art insectorium is often used for mounting research on vectors of malaria and dengue. A new paradigm for dengue surveillance has been determined with proactive strategies developed to prevent the spread of these deadly diseases. Innovative mosquito capturing sticky traps have been developed with randomized control trials implemented. Dedicated and committed research on the elucidation of an emerging pathogen, blastocystis species have resulted in newer understanding on host parasite relationship, its mode of infection, immunity of hosts, the biology and the pathogenicity of these organisms and most importantly for being responsible for placing the organism in the fact sheet of the fourth edition of the drinking water guidelines of the World Health Organization. The 25-year track record of working on this organism has enabled the department to be recognized for being in the frontiers of global blastocystis research. The biology and pathogenicity aspects have been researched on other emerging parasites such as Cryptosporidium, Acanthamoeba, Microsporidium and Trichomonas vaginalis. The search for newer drugs against parasitic infections continue with emphasis on screening for herbal extracts from Malaysian traditional medicinal plants against malaria. The department also gives emphasis on studies concerning the detection of Cryptosporidium and Jardia in recreational and sewage water. The Department of Parasitology have over the years held workshops for scientists and members of the public to spread information and knowledge. We have organized the InterVarsity Quiz on Parasitology to stimulate the interest in students as well as held discussions with over 20 institutions of higher learning on the standardization of parasitology curriculum. 
This is our continued effort to promote parasitology, not just as a subject, but enhance prevention and awareness so that the public at large can be educated on the ill effects of the parasites. Our vision one day is that this department will be recognized as diagnostic and a referral center for parasitic infections, not just for Malaysia, but for the whole Southeast Asian countries.